All right, so today we're going to be doing a video just to kind of document my recipe for the pickled eggs because I wrote it down and lost it. So you're going to need two tablespoons or a half gallon mason jar, 20 eggs, there's 18 there, I'll add two to it. You're going to need two tablespoons of red pepper flake, crushed red pepper flake, one tablespoon of whole black pepper kernels, and then one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning or whatever Cajun seasoning. Mix it up, put it in the bottom of the jar. Then you're going to basically need like about half of a red onion cut up and uh, some banana peppers. I normally just get, like the other day I cut up two onion, two red onions because I'm doing multiple half gallon jars. Uh, and I cut up a whole pack of banana peppers. So anyway, I got the water boiling here for the uh, boiling the eggs. After we get that done, I'll show you how I pack the jars and making my brine. Once you get your water boiling, you use your eggs down in there. I can do 40 eggs in this, I think it's a four quart pot from just the dollar store. Just drop them in with a spoon. Going to let these sit at a very light. <clears throat> going to let these simmer at a very light simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. Then pull them out and run cold water over them, cold water bath them, and then we'll peel them. Okay, so we got our boiled eggs sitting in the ice bath. Going to peel them here in a minute. <clears throat> Next thing you got to do is make your brine. So we're going to turn this on to about mid heat. And then uh, the whole point in pickling is, is you're basically preserving whatever you're pickling in vinegar, a high acid, a high acidic environment. So I'm going to have to pause the camera here and open these things of vinegar up. Okay, it's important to note when your vinegar, I have apple cider vinegar here. You don't want to use more apple cider vinegar because it has more other things in it. It also doesn't have quite as high of an acidity as this white distilled vinegar. So uh, I go for basically a little bit more than two parts distilled and a little bit less than one part apple cider. So into our pot, we're going to put in one quart. white vinegar and we're going to put in a little bit less than half apple cider vinegar then in your brine you're gonna I use a half of this ham's cup this is what I use in my kitchen is a, a cup 
uh, of sugar. You'll have to stir this in. And then you want to use about a quarter cup of non-iodized salt. This is pink Himalayan. You really should use pickling salt or canning salt. But this will work just fine. As long as it doesn't have iodine in it. So, roughly a quarter cup of that. Ease that in there. Alright. <clears throat> then we'll stir that together and bring it up to a... Uh, light boil okay so now we're going to start uh, peeling eggs and loading this jar and we'll time lapse it up All right, so our next step is to pour our, pour our boiling, lightly boiling brine in around the eggs. And that's what's going to actually pickle them. So here we go, we have it. It's good and warm. The sugar is all uh, absorbed in. I'm just going to pour it in nice and slow like this. All right. I always end up having a little bit left over. Uh, and then you want it to be hot, mostly not just because it penetrates the eggs better, but it helps with sealing the lid. But here in a second, we're also going to show you hot bathing, which is a process of ensuring all the air is removed from the jar. Uh, I'm going to throw more, a couple more onions in on top of here because I really, really like pickled onions. So, always top the very top off with even more onions. Then we'll throw the lid on and tighten it down good. And then I'll throw this over here in the hot bath and I'll show you that process. Okay, so this is my pressure canner, but we're not using it as a pressure canner. All we're doing is hot bathing these three half gallon jars that we've made pickled eggs in. So essentially, if you can see there, there's bubbles forming on these two lids. This is the one I just threw in. What you're doing with this process is, is you're basically using heat to draw the air out of the jar naturally. Thus, these bubbles are forming. So you want to have this water to almost a boil, not quite. I go until these bubbles really start forming, and then they start to go away. And then I'll just cut the heat off of it and let them sit until for about an hour and I'll pull them out. 
um, what this does is it draws the air out of the jar, and then the pressure difference actually seals the rubber seal of the new lid. Uh, obviously, you know, this is mostly a Jeep channel. Uh, well, for the most part, been working on tractors lately, and now we're cooking, so we do about everything, I guess. Uh, you know, common sense tells you you can reuse your jars as long as you clean them, and you can reuse your rings, but don't go reusing lids. Some people say you can get two or three times out of them. It ain't gonna work. So, uh, anyway, there's my pickled eggs recipe. That's what we're doing on a rainy, nasty day outside that we can't be working on our other projects. So, uh, y'all have a good one. And I know this is a little different than what we normally do, but, eh, can't work on Jeeps all the time.